Alright, hello people. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. So I can commentate. Alright, cool. Hello people. Getting double started right now. Let me know if the audio volumes are chill. Mm -mm. And then I'll probably find some actual commentators once I get this all set up. I think they actually are going in already. Or they're doing hand ones. They're still doing hand ones. So, it's gonna be small doubles bracket today since it's around Robin, but it'll still be fine. Lots of, lots of our SoCal friends have gone off the north, or uh, New York, so they are over there chilling. Webcam over here. Comment. Because you can check out the beautiful. They're taking the longest hand warmer of the fucking world. So, that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, how's everyone doing today? Oh, really? That's so cool. Uh, fun fact, if you tweet out to at the balcony, uh, you have a chance for me to put that up on the layout, like right, like right, right, boop, like that's an example of what it would look like. Wow. So feel free to tweet at us and tell us dumb shit, because I will totally put that on the layout. I do need to update to this one. Okay. So that it's not lag. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so hopefully they'll actually get started soon, because they're like just sitting there. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, and their little huddle. Uh, DJ Wan and Asian Gamer <coughs> uh, do doubles quite often. Oh, it looks like we're probably getting started here. No, maybe. <clears throat> and uh, Yo and Digitales have done a couple rounds of maybe like two things of doubles, but are not like regular doubles buddies, so we'll see if they can keep up. Oh, that looks perfect. Just zesty and repeated annoyingly. Alright, looks like we're getting into it. Let's see how game one goes. If they can switch over. But anyway. <clears throat> uh, both Asian Gamer and DJ Wan love their projectiles, and so with Mario and his fireballs, Lincoln, like his boomerang, arrows. So far they haven't really been doing too much of it though. So they can they can be kind of campier players. More <coughs> defensive I guess you could call it. Ooh. Yo is very much a uh, very he's amazing tech skill but he's still working on nailing all of the right choices during gameplay. Ooh. But uh it's, it's an interesting, like, character round we got going here because, like, Charizard and Yendorf are very much, like, the bigger combo or, like, more easy to combo, like, fatter characters, but they hit really hard. Whereas Mario and Toon Link are very much, like, they have really good combo games alongside, like, projectiles. So, at any point, Asian Gamer and DJ Wong could have a pretty easy time of just sitting back. Ooh. Oh man, and DJ Wan gets nailed by that, uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure which, for, which smash that goes by Ganondorf, I always forget. Yeah. Like, but anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, people, let me know. The audio sounds like ass. It's actually really even game so far, uh, which is surprising because I would probably consider DJ Wan and Asian Gamer uh, stronger as a team. Ooh, that was almost really sick by Yo and Digital. They tried to have a Charizard grab an opponent and then have Ganon land the fair, but Yo threw his fair out too far and just nailed Charizard, which is unfortunate. <coughs> And just like that, they are now ridiculously behind. Uh, Digitales and Yo are now two slots behind. But they're at fresh stock, so they could probably bring it back. Uh, if anything, ooh, Yo's a bad spot. Ooh, ooh, you almost got that recovery. Oh, but DJ won for, went for a not too good edge 
Actually, we don't get back to this one. And that's Digitales out. Uh, honestly, like, I think Ganondorf is a... He could do pretty well in a 2v1. But I don't see this one working out too well. Mainly because the two characters he have to fight, like, if they really wanted to, DJ1 and Asian Gamer could just, like, sit back and spam them projectiles. Like, that would be pretty doable and easy. Oh, I have cactus. Yeah, that's a cactus. Kind of open this. Alright, chill. But yeah, that's the end of Yo. Mm -mm. And I guess we'll see, uh,. Where do they go to for the next stage? I wouldn't be surprised if they picked, like, a bigger stage, although that can be kind of scary because, like, it gives them more space to camp. But at the same time, I feel like Charizard and Ganondorf, I don't know. I guess it's hard. Honestly, like, they kind of just probably had some not-so-good deaths, whether it be suicides or just, like, got edgeguarded from poor recovery choices. In theory, I could see them wanting a small stage because they get the kill easier. But at the same time, they also die like a lot earlier. And Ganondorf and Charizard can theoretically live to higher percents. They are like not super heavy characters, but they're definitely on the heavier side. Also, Jack is gay. Uh, making my day all the way. They're taking their sweet time trying to pick a stage. Honestly, I would have. I think Battlefield was a poor choice originally for them because, in theory, like, I know with Tristan's Rule, another two link from uh, SoCal, it's really easy just to camp, like, the top platform and just rain down projectiles. Lefty's an interesting choice. It's kind of a good middle stage of, like, not super big, but not super small. And the lack of platform probably gives them a chance to, uh. I don't know. Yeah, see, already, holy shit, they're just, like, spamming projectiles. But it doesn't matter as much because. As you can see, Yo and Digitales kind of got around the projectiles. <laughs> kind of. They took a lot of damage from it. Digitales herself is already at 100. And Yo already lost the stock. I forgot I should put this on over the game. <coughs> Sorry. Again, I'm sick. I'm not fucking sick to play. But, um. <clears throat> yeah, so already they're at kind of a deficit, but it looks like. Plus we're fucking the side over here. Both of them. I think the thing you'll see with a lot of doubles on um, like, like uh, lower level playing is uh, everybody likes to just go in and like immediately attack whatever is the most available or closest to them. So like you won't see a lot of teamwork at like beginning of dubs, like the lower level dubs people. There's also like not a lot of like co-op in the sense that if someone's trying to recover and they're being edge guard, like very rarely will your teammate like try to run over and help you or I don't know. So right now you can kind of see that too. Of course, Asian Gamer and uh, DJ Wan, as I mentioned before, are just kind of going in on the projectiles, which their characters are pretty good at doing. And Charizard and Ganondorf don't have many answers to that, but um, there's also very much a consistent issue of like. Everybody kind of more or less is just going for like whoever's closest, like not really thinking on the teamwork side, more thinking on the. It's like they're going into doubles with more of a singles mindset, and that isn't the best. Mm -hmm. And they finally take DJ Wan's first stock. Sadly, they're at a huge deficit with Yo just losing his third. Uh, uh, this is probably a Dunsky game, but uh. If anything, I would say with uh, you, the thing with Yo and Digitalis is they have a kind of a interesting team in the sense that both their characters kind of do follow like similar traits. Like when I think of good doubles teams, I like to think someone who's really good at approaching and like starting fights, and then somebody who's good at like getting the finishing hit. So like you kind of want to have like a good, uh, good like. Comboer or someone with a good neutral, and then someone who's like the hard hitter. And I think they have two hard hitters. And of course, like at the end of the day, you can just outskill people. But I get, and they just, yeah, outkill people, as I said. That is Dunsky's. And I have no idea who's on next.